Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France deck G45 G8 game with PT944, Montu, and Wallfly. And uh, Montu streams at twitch.tv slash gamer and uh, yeah, let's take a look at this game. All right, so let's read. I mean, I see Trailblazer. That's the best of the cards I know. Let's read the ones I don't know. So Crop Farmer, so you get a building resource. Could be fine. Honestly, Trailblazer Crop Farmer would be a fine start. Mountain Farmer, when you have exactly two family members, buy two sheep, one grain for one food. Each time you build at least one fence, plow at least one field. Use your first trail where you pay nothing. Wow. Mountain Farmer seems like quite the, quite the card. Get a grain whenever you plow a field. And that's plow one field in any manner. Huh. Berry Farmer. Whenever you take one to three wood from an action space, one food on the next two round spaces. What? This is berry picker, but the food is slower, but you get more of it? Uh, yeah, that's that's the kind of card you, you're happy to first pick because you'll play it in literally any hand. Uh, Conceiver. Still nine rounds to play, so the four would awk. All players with the most played cards with a bonus point symbol get three bonus points. So what I like about Conceiver, uh, it probably makes it a little strong, is that it actually has the bonus point symbol on it, it itself. So it's like four wood ox that help you win the race, like those those all end up being very strong. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to take Berry Farmer, but Conceiver looks pretty interesting. And honestly, Trailblazer Crop Farmer would be fine. But yes, uh, I'm on board with uh, Gray's comment that Berry Farmer looks quite good. You're going to play it in any hand. Syrup tap the awk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Domba, you're up late. Hope you guys are doing well this evening. So yeah, next couple nights I'll be late. Thursday, Friday, it'll be streams in the evening eastern um honestly it depends on when i see like usually I, I pop in every once in a while to look if there's an open game and if there's not an open game then i kind of i don't usually wait around so that's why sometimes my start times in the evenings are inconsistent just because the games start a little more inconsistently whereas i know pretty much if i go on at about 12 12 15 i'm, I'm not going to be waiting too long for a game all right, couple cards we need to read here. Lots of cards we need to read here. Bandit, place one of your adult family members at the end of the work phase. Action space orthogonally adjacent to spaces occupied by other people. Okay, so the bandit forces you to go last, but it says if you go last and you go orthogonally adjacent to other stuff, you get bonuses. Um, considering that if you get the first family growth, there's no, like, penalty, that could be f pretty good. Uh, Guild Farmer. Uh, I'll rate Bandit ahead of Guild Farmer, I guess. Uh, Guild Farmer, or, yeah, ahead of Regular Farmer. Place from the bottom top, cattle, reed, vegetable, stone, grain. Most once per harvest, when you convert a building resource to food, you get the top item. Um, yeah, it's okay. The problem with cards like this is that you have to play them in stage one, and you have to set up the way to convert a building resource to food. It just makes it slow. Farm Artist. At the end of the, each work phase, if both traveling players and take one grain are occupied, you may plow a field. Um, I mean, if people are going to spam that space, but probably it's going to be more reliable if you like the two spaces yourselves. Because, you know, if traveling players is occupied, you go on grain plow and vice versa. But uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to want those spaces. Olive Picker. One wood on as many empty plowed fields as you want, which you may return to the general supply at any time. As long as the wood remains, fields can't be sown or harvested. 
And during the field phase, I get one food for each wood placed. Um, where does the wood come from? I guess it must come from the general supply. Uh, brush maker is just okay. Champion harvester. One bonus point when you, have, you harvest at least four goods. One bonus point when you harvest two types of goods. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. So four fields, like you trick, like your goal with this card is just to get four points out of it. Trigger it in round 13 and round 14. Um, any more than that is like a little greedy. Grain expert, one wood from your supply on the next odd numbered round spaces, as many as you want. Each wood placed this way, you may play place one grain on the next even numbered. Ah, I see. So this is paying wood out to get grain over time. Uh, grain Expert seems like a great way to enable my Champion Harvester, but Champion Harvester is the card I pick first. Absolutely. Bonus point cards are also up in value. That's an excellent, excellent point. Yeah, so I think Pedagog is really good. I think Pedagog is really good. Oh, I have to uh, issue an apology. Damba pointed this out. I don't know if I was streaming live at the time. I screwed up in my Pedagog game. I took I took three read, but then I returned it, but then I didn't remove it from my farm, so I had three read too many. So I have to I have to seeing Pedagog is reminding me that I needed to go back and comment on that, which I did not. Country Carpenter is just okay, as my good friend Randy Carlisle would say. Stops Master, field phase of each harvest, vegetable to three food and a bonus point. That's a pretty, that's good. It's good. Um, yeah, uh, I don't really have a source of vegetables yet, but it's got the bonus point symbol on it. Minerals, I mean, I'm going to take Pedagog. I'm going to have to see something pretty good not to take Pedagog. I think that card is quite good. Uh, mineral seller, one clay, one stone, and you may play a minor improvement with a clay or stone in printed, co printed cost. Whenever you play an improvement with such, you receive one food. Up to, s oh, wait, okay. Ah, uh, I see, I see. So I play mineral seller, I get a clay and a stone, I have an opportunity to play an improvement with a clay or printed stone. And then, so that could be the fireplace, the two clay fireplace, for example. I immediately get a food, and then every time someone else plays a clay or stone printed cost, they get a food. I get a food still. Um, yeah, mineral seller looks quite, quite, quite good. But uh, I'm taking pedagogue here. I think pedagogue is incredibly good. I think pedagogue is incredibly good. I think its effect is very similar to an immediate family growth action most of the time. It can only, sorry, it can only play minors. You're right. Sorry. You're, you're right, Greg. Good observation. I can only play a minor with it, but when someone else plays a major, I do get a food. You're right. Sorry. Mm. I've missed, oh my God, you guys have been chatting. I got to look. Uh, Liverpool FC had a celebration. Oh, you're a Liverpool fan? Hey, uh. I saw a really funny tweet. It was uh, Arsenal. Being an Arsenal, f Arsenal fan is beating... Who did they beat? They beat Chelsea and Man City, I think. But then also lost to, like, West Brom or someone. Like, <laughs> that made me laugh. Yeah. Think I think Mineral Seller does look really good. You might be right, Gray. I think uh, Pedagog is uh, more my speed, but you're right that I think Mineral Seller might be really, really, really good. All right. Um, it would be kind of fun to play Wealthy Man, although it doesn't work with Berry Farmer at all. It does have the bonus point on it. So honestly, I could take Wealthy Man just to play for the bonus point if it helps me win the three point card. Let's read the other one. Another player uses stone accumulation space, I get a stone and a food. Arranged bride. If you have at least three family members, remove one room you built from the game completely. Build six fences at no cost and receive three cattle. 
must place. So okay, so the way arranged bride work is I lose the fam, I lose a room, and I lose the ability to place the family member, but I get six fences at no cost and three cattle. Um, I could see games where that would be quite good in. Uh, veggie importer, man. Uh, veggie importer doesn't really work with pedagogue, but. Oh man, it would be quite good for my champion harvester. Clay plaster, renovating. Yeah, I know clay plaster. Why am I reading it? Ido. Whenever another player takes clay stone from an accumulations place, both that player and you receive one additional. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying about that, Sid. Yeah. It is awkward involved to, with pedagogue. Yeah, um, the breed dealer. Uh, yeah, veggie, veggie importer is really good. We did see that wood and food card, uh, wood and clay card, which I'm interested. Um, I think I could take a card like quarry operator. I think quarry operator would be fine. Uh, yeah, <sighs> veggie, if I could play veggie importer in round four, like that would be quite good. So what, what is my, f like the problem with, it, with then is I have to give up on the, like uh, at least probably four food from berry farmer and four food from berry farmer early is going to be worth a lot. It's going to be worth a lot. Yeah. And I, I, I think I can't, yeah. So I think I can't push pedagogue out round three because I do want to play berry farmer. Um, yeah, I like, uh, this is kind of a, a tough pick, I should say, because they're, they're probably all waiting on me. Um, is this Lumen? This kind of looks like Lumen. I've never looked that closely at this picture. Do you guys, do you guys think this looks like Lumen, the veggie importer? <laughs> Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Quarry Operator. Because Quarry Operator is the kind of card that with Pedagogue where it costs me very little to play it, but then it just gives me stuff. Like, it just passively gives me stuff, which seems pretty cool. I think I'm going to take Quarry Operator here. Yeah. Do you guys see it? Yeah, <laughs> I think it does. Honestly, I think it does. <laughs> if it was Lumen's card, I would guess that he put it in. But uh, okay, yeah, Trailblazer. This, yeah, this is Trailblazer, and I don't really think it's all that close. Although Mount Farmer is interesting. Okay, so actually, let's think about this. So Mountain Farmer is exactly two family members. So what I can do is I can delay my family growth to let Ox come out with Pedagogue. And then use that time to first action plow. As I'm plowing, I'm taking a grain every time. And then that's going to set up my ch my champion harvester. Um, I think that's not a bad idea, maybe. I like Trailblazer. But I think, uh, I think I'm going to take... Um, Oh, you're saying Forester? <laughs> um, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather do stuff that gets me points, Gray, if that's okay. Like, I'd rather play play cards that get me points without having to build the joinery. I, I just think I think that's where I want to go. Pipe Smoke or Trailblazer is quite good together. Uh, I'm kind of intrigued by Mountain Farmer. So my thinking is, I play Berry Farmer early. I build a room, then I set up Pedagog. Pedagog plays Mountain Farmer. I'm gonna first action use Mount Farmer like it's Field Watchman, except it's Field Watchman that takes a bit more work. I'm going to take Mountain Farmer here. Um, so the thing about Olive Picker is I don't have to sow the grain f onto my Mountain Farmer. I could play Olive Farmer, Olive Picker with Pedagog. Like, let's say if I could build the room round four, and pedagogue and awk round five, say I pedagogue mountain farmer, then I can plow, 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 
play all of picker start of round seven uh, then it's only two wood i guess that or two food at that point which is not really that good the other thing is bandit bandit if you grow early there's not a huge cost associated with it hmm Got it for free, yeah. You saved a bunch of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just putting the idea out into the ether and I'm associating it. I'm uh, I'm just uh, absorbing it by osmosis. Um, yeah, I could, like, far farmer is fine when you don't have to pay. When you don't have to play, use an action to play farmer, it's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Gray. With mountain farmer, I can... I can fence twice, get four sheep and two boar. Yep. So I think for me, this pick is between... I'm not going to take Brushmaker because I would take Brushmaker after Farmer and I have to take Farmer first. So for me, this pick is between Farmer if I want to fence a couple times or Olive pick Picker as a way to feed. And Olive Picker, like if I plow three or four times, it's an okay way to feed. Um, I do have berry farmer, so I definitely like taking wood. Mm, yeah, playing farmer to get four sheep and two boar from two fence action looks fine. Um, river fairy captain. Whenever fishing is taken, I receive food equal to the food on traveling players. It's random. Sun farmer I'm not a fan of. I, I like businessman okay here. Um, the problem with businessman, it like this looks like a, a, a farm that might not want to reno all that many times. So if I can play, you know, and I'm not going to want to start player that much. So if I can play when I do start player, play multiple improvements at once, I kind of like that idea. None of them have bonus point symbols on them. Yeah, you know what? Businessman helps me build the guilds, which might be a good idea to try to win that bonus point card. Olive picker is food. Ah, uh, you think so? I think I might play it earlier than that. Whoa, cash crop, machete. So champion harvester, harvest at least four goods. Well, machete plus champion harvester means easy champion harvester. Uh, I also could potentially get both of them together if I take one and maybe get the other. That can be very, very good. Royal Medal, no negative points, gets three bonus points, and it's get, got a bonus point symbol on it. That's like a pretty impactful card to know about. Holy crap, I wish I could, hold, I could, wish I could take it. Man, there are four cards with bonus point symbols on them here. I guess I hope to get two of them, should be my goal. Planter Box plus Machete is crazy. Uh, that's like a really strong combo. But uh, I think I have to first pick Cash Crop here. Do I? Do I first pick Machete here, try to wheel Cash Crop or Planter Box? What does Coral Farm say? Pastures cannot be di diagonally or orthogonally adjacent to each other. What? How can your pastures not be orthogonally adjacent to each other? Do you need a special card that lets you do that? Window, extend your home, one clay, so it's attic, but for clay, royal metal, yeah, light, I mean, lighthouse is fun, pasture bestowal, six unbuilt fences, four to the current round, play six unbuilt fences from your supply on the respective round, the start of that round, pay one wood to build a pasture covering exactly two unused farmyard spaces. Oh, it's one wood, oh, so you're paying... Four wood for six fences. Nah, Pastor Bestowal only sa saves you two. Although it does work with uh, Mountain Farmer. I see. Because, yeah, if you have two family members. Yeah, um... I guess knowing about Royal Metal pushes me away from Cash Crop a little bit. Like, I should do the safe play, which is Machete, and try to wheel Cash Crop or Planter Box. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's going to be maybe difficult for us to win the bonus point card, symbol card, but what can you do? What can you do? Cash crop machete dream. Well, we'll dream. So village school is really good, but I like it quite a bit less with a card like pedagogue, which lets me easily play out my hand. Especially with businessman as well. I should have lots of improvements to play. Alms house is very good. Uh, you know what? I should be taking carpet here. I guess that's what I should do, eh? Carpet plus mountain farmer. I should be able to get the four sheep fairly easily. Uh, and then maybe I only build one room. Maybe I even wheel lighthouse. Um, I don't know, do some crazy stuff like that. Get family growth even without room whenever it comes out. Yeah, as much as I like Om's house, I think I have to take carpet here. Party up in here. <laughs> HIKLJ, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. 11 months, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for this. Uh, thanks for the subscription, HIKLJ. Glad, uh, glad you've been enjoying the the stream. All right, we're taking carpet. Uh, hay sheaves, uh, grain field, reed miner. At the start of round eleven and thirteen, harvest one green from each of your grain fields. Turn one into three or four fields if at least if another player has at least one sheep, one cattle on their in their farm. Uh, okay, so. It's a free harvest, it gives a point, and it gives you a potential grain conversion if you want it. That seems pretty good. Uh, uh, Rayolia, we've seen, it's okay, not too exciting. Spring rain, one planted field, two food from the grain supply, immediately add an additional resource on each player's planted fields. Um, wow. I mean, with machete, I could definitely play that for one crop, but with machete, you don't really need one extra crop. Hunt, excuse me, hunt school. When you play this card, immediately play up to two ox. Wow, hunt school seems really good. Wow, hunt school seems incredibly good. Oh my goodness. Is it good enough that I give up on pedagogue? Oh man. Like I do have farmer in hand, so I might be able to get the boar like kind of consistently. The problem is at that point, I have to have played farmer Probably Mountain Farmer and Berry Farmer. So what am I playing? Champion Harvester and Quarry Operator Businessman? That's not really worth it. Little Red Schoolhouse. Two wood, one reed, and a point. Start of each round. More plowed fields than played. Oh my... Oh, that seems really good. I guess it's kind of... Yeah, okay. I guess it's kind of expensive, but Trailblazer's in the game. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is an alternative to Pedagogue, that's for sure. Builder's Trowel, Wild Wish, Three Ox, whenever you use it, take one boar space, you get an additional boar. You know what, I th I, it's kind of boring. I kind of want to just take Wild Wish because it's safe. Although Hay Sheaves is an interesting option. Yeah, maybe I should take Hay Sheaves. Hay Sheaves looks quite good. Yeah, Hay Sheaves looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at... Red Schoolhouse is busted. Yeah, um, I agree. It does look cr it does look incredibly good. It's uh, plow on the ox space. Or it's ox on the plow space. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess what I'm looking at is the cost of the three, like Little Red Schoolhouse saves me three wood, one reed, which is good. Uh, I'm also looking at the timing of my occupations. I guess Pedagogue requires the empty room, which forces me not to grow. But with Mountain Farmer, I kind of want to not grow anyways. I do think Little Red Schoolhouse looks really good. The, I guess the other problem is if I pass Little Red Schoolhouse, someone else is going to play it. And then my plow and field space is, is very, my plow and field person is very annoyed with Mountain Farmer. 
But I mean, I probably just passed the Trailblazer. So the Trailblazer is not going to use Little Red Schoolhouse, or they're not going to use the Plow Space. Yeah, I mean, Little Red Schoolhouse means do I don't play Pedagogue. Which feels wrong. I guess the other thing to consider is like it forces like it, it forces me to just plow in the early game. Which if I don't get cash crop back feels wrong. Like I, I'm gonna want a family growth eventually. Yeah, I can go for family growth without room with carpet. Mountain Farmer is Field Watchman plus Job Seeker. Yeah, you're right. It's not bad. It's, uh... No, no, you're right. It's not bad. It's just that it makes my other card. It does make my other cards worse. I guess the other thing I will point out is with Little Red Schoolhouse, I'm not really going to want to play Berry Farmer until later. I think I'm just going to take the free point, guys. I think I'm just going to take the free point that's not Hunt School, but that's Wild Wish. Yeah. Hunt's, uh, Wild Wish is quite a bit worse with Farmer, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to pass on another free point. I need free points. And you know what? With Businessman, I really appreciate free points. Um, yeah. I, I still like the original game plan. I think Little Red Schoolhouse is really good. And I, and I might really regret that choice. I, I'm, I'll say that now. I might fully regret that choice. Pedagogue. Um... Probably, but you know what? I might only want to plow three times. Like, maybe I plow three times in stage two, and then I don't plow again until quite quite a bit later. All right, gates. Can use the fences, action space, or after reno, also fences, even if they're occupied. Nope. Wedding. Two family members. Costs five food. One building resource of each type, one sheep, and one grain. Each player may pay one food less to eat, feed each family member. Okay, so I play this. I get a loan of one of each resource. I get a sheep and a grain. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. I mean, wood, clay, reed, stone. Speed field. Uh, whenever you sow, sow on this card as if it were a field. Play this card you made immediately sow on this card. Uh, this looks amazing with Machete. Like, with once Businessman is out, this card plus Machete, auto, like, free, super free crops. I don't even, I don't even have to do a sow action for a while. Masia, three room stone house, stone, wood, reed. Three middle spaces on your farm are unused, move your rooms there. One of your rooms provides room for one additional family member. Whoa, this, so this card lets me, like, totally rearrange my rooms. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. Huh. Masia. And then I get to grow again. The problem is I have to get up to stone. I don't really, probably don't want to get up to stone this game. Alright, 
Um, also, it makes covering all my it makes having no negative points a lot more difficult. Um, speed field looks pretty good to me. Massia does look cool. I think Massey is going to be hard with um, Massey is going to be hard to do and not get any negative points though. Hey, Doe Academy. You had to work while playing? Oh my goodness, that sucks. Um, yeah, Speed Field looks fun with Machete. I'm going to try that. Mm, you know what? Business Red's not getting... You know what? Speed Field... Yeah, you know, I don't have that many miners to play in the early game. Aside from Machete. Wedding giving a sheep is interesting, though. It's a lot of food. Nah, I'll take speed field, sure. Uh, planter box came back. So planter box plus uh, machete is very, very strong. Um, I like royal metal here. I really don't understand coral farm. Like, how can you build extra pastures? Is there, like, some, some trick I'm missing? Um, yeah, I think I'd take royal metal here. I kind of didn't really get there on the bonus point symbols, so I have a feeling I'm not winning that race, but this hand looks crazy, and also this hand looks like it can have no negatives, because it has a lot of unblockable actions. Yeah, unblockable actions can make no negative stuff a lot easier. Planter Box is very good, though. With Planter Box plus Champion Harvester, I don't even... Yeah, you know what? What am I saying? At harvest at least four goods. Yeah, you know what? What am I saying? It's planter box. Holy crap. I only need to sow one field for a champion harvester. With gra Yeah, I can sow grain. So if I sow grain vegetable each harvest, I get I get two bonus points. Pasture bestowal? Need not? But it says cannot. It says like the rule is you can't do that. Yeah, guys, Matu, uh, if Matu's streaming, go, throw him some sympathy because he's playing this game under protest a little bit, I think. <laughs> uh, Omsos wield. Wow, why did Omsos wield? All right, this is a hand. So, do we set up our points engine first or our occupation engine first? I think we set up our occupation engine because our occupation engine lets us play the cards that set up our point engine. Wow, hunt school wield. <laughs> I'll take the other free point, I guess. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so I don't really, like, yeah. Hunt school, I don't really need to, I only need to get, like, if Pedagog only plays three ox, that's good enough. Because I'll play Berry Picker, and I'll play Pedagog manually. Then Pedagog plays three, then Hunt school plays my final two. <laughs> Can't chastise him. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, though, I think... I don't know if it was in both the games that I won in round three. I think I plowed zero fields in both in the two games that I won. I mean, I tied with Bigfoot in the third game, and I did that with zero zero plowed fields. I think it's just like 
uh, I think farming is is uh, an important. I mean, I'm used to farming being an important part of the game, so having it not be is a big adjust, big adjustment, which makes things. Uh, it's difficult for me to adjust to that. I like how many changes Night School Teacher has gone through. That card was like, oh, it used to be like this. All right, we start in third. I need to resize my hand. So, uh, berry farmer into two wood is my dream start. And uh, if we can get two read in round two, that's my goal. To just uh, get pedagogue out as quickly as possible and start setting up food from berry farmer. I, yeah. I could skip Berry Farmer until I play it with Pedagog, but, because I do have Om's House, but I'd rather just get the food, I think. Well, if I probably took Red Schoolhouse because I scored 73. <laughs> you got 73? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Twitch library mutes your video. Yeah, that's the problem with playing music. You have to have the right music. To read in round two doesn't exist now. Oh, wheelbarrow pusher, right. It's okay, I'll get there. Don't worry, guys. I'll get there. Um... This is crazy, but I'm going to do it. Wood and two food. Yes. Yeah. Having wheel wheelbarrow pusher come out is making me, yeah, no to read anymore. Hunt school does make things a little, little easier. I get convinced? No, I think my goal is to convince you guys. Show you with my play. Oh, thank you. I need to rearrange farms. Thank you. Good catch. Conceiver, so here's that four wood occupation. Yeah, I think this card is going to prove to be very, very strong. Because it's got the bonus point on it itself, which makes a big difference. So I have to take Reedstone Food if I can, but I'm pretty sure Montu will take Reedstone Food to get that second read with um, Wheelbarrow Pusher. Pretty sure Montu's getting the read. Wallfly took Plow in round one. She's definitely got Little Red Schoolhouse. Yeah, Conceiver seems really good. Because also because there's just uh there's just not that many like in a given draft, there's just not that many cards that you can take with those symbols on them. So having the one extra one for yourself, that makes a big difference, I think. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I do think I agree. Little Red Schoolhouse is be absolutely better than Pedagog. I agree. But I also feel that an engine that plays occupations is worse when you can't play all seven occupations. So I think there's a trade-off there, and I think I ended up on the okay, on an okay side. Ooh, Montu's letting me get Reedstone food. That's cool. So I could even consider doing something like Start Player. I guess I only really have Machete to start player with. Yes, if I took Mineral Seller, yes, if I took Mineral Seller over Pedagog, you're right, Gray. You're right. Yeah. If I if I know I'm gonna get third pick Little Red Schoolhouse, like that's probably a card that should be first picked every time. You're probably right about that. I'm guessing PT decided he wanted to wheelbarrow push rather than plow every round. I'm guessing that's what happened there, but yes, I agree. Um, yeah, so I think I probably should start player. Well, hmm. I'm still a couple actions away from getting Pedagog out. I mean, if Montu start players here... But the thing is, once Montu start players, he's going for Reedstone food, right? I, I am surprised that he didn't take it here, I guess. 2-1-2 two, two food is fine as well. But I, I think I'd probably start... The problem with Machete is that it does set my... Like, I, st I need another 5 wood still for Pedagog, but... Montu builds two stables. Huh. What's up with that? I'm going to play Start Player Machete here to get that second Reedstone food action. Morning prayer? Is it like evening prayer, but... So it's it's evening prayer, but with stables. Is that what it is? Mm, there's going to be four wood. So maybe I get three wood back. If I don't get three wood back, I kind of hate this round. I guess I can play Pedagog. I guess I can take two wood. Try to get three wood in the next round. Okay. So if Matu's going to start player, he's probably going to start player morning prayer into Reedstone food. So that means I can count on getting three wood round four. So then I like second action two wood a lot better in that case. Fine Reed Mountain Farmer. Sure. When you have exactly two family members, you can buy two sheep or one grain for one food. Each time you build at least one fence or plow at least one field. If you use your first family member, you pay nothing. So what this card says is if I have exactly two family members and I use first action, pl uh, plow one field, I get one free grain. If I use first action fence, I get two free sheep. Is that satisfactory for you, Damba? Wallfly plays Fencing Master. Did she give up on Little Red Schoolhouse? I hope not. So is Matu going to 3 wood? If he doesn't start player here, there's, he risks it not coming back. So if we got 3 wood, I'd be quite happy. <laughs> Do you want, is, is that, should that be a food reward, Damba? That, that you get detailed uh, readings of cards from me? <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess you could play Fencing Master. It saves you a food and gets... It's a food and two wood. I guess I'd lean on the side of playing school... Like, playing Fencing Master with the schoolhouse. But 
you could play fencing master first it's two food and one it's a uh, food and two wood difference so yes that should be an option i have to read them in different the thing is i can't do that many different voices <laughs> there's a reason you're watching me for the analytical content and not for the you know bouncing off the wall spurging out stuff <laughs> Montu takes the two sheep all right i'm very happy to get three wood here whatever you take one to three wood from an action space place one food on each of the next two round spaces at the start of these rounds you receive the food so what this card means is whenever i take fewer than four wood from an action space i get two food Upgrade Veruscus extension. <laughs> that would be fun, but it would take a lot of work. Oh, uh, I could do Fencing Master in French. Je peux parler un peu, mais uh, the French people would complain about my accent. Airline flight attendant. I don't know if I know stereotypical, like the, the airline flight attendant, all I think of is the, the pointing, right? I, I can th only think of Jerry Seinfeld, you know, the pointing in front of you, around here, yes. That's the only thing that I associate with airline flight attendants in particular. Oh, helpful neighbors for Wallfly. That's fun. Also, probably means she's going to start player again, which will put me in last. All right, so I think we're doing three wood into a room here. Or we're doing three wood into demagogue. One of those two. You can never know. Clothier. At the start of the field phase of the of start of the field phase of harvest, you may convert one sheep and one reed to five food and a bonus point. So sheep and a reed to five food and a bonus point. Okay, so he's setting up the breeding sheep really early so that the sheep are there. He doesn't have to continuously take them. Looks good. So if family growth is round five, um, I'm I'm hurt if family growth is round five. I want to see late family growth. He, he could have risked it for three sheep, yeah, to trigger it this round, because at this rate he probably has to take a one sheep action. Wallfly plays veggie importer. Uh, poor Wallfly, her red schoolhouse was too sh too slow. Her little red schoolhouse. Maybe he thinks that the reed is too expensive for in this harvest because of wheelbarrow pusher. That'd be my guess. That he that he feels that he can't convert here because of because of wheelbarrow pusher sucking all the reed out of the game. But who knows? He also might have been afraid of someone building the fireplace, right? If some if there were two actions after him, he could have someone could have snatched the fireplace. Swamp farmer. Um yeah, um I don't know about this card. I just feel like it gets you to do a so action which is worth food, but it's a so action which doesn't take resources off the board. It doesn't interact with your opponents like I'm I'm get I'm like pretty low on Swamp Farmer now. Like I'm I'm not really a fan. He 
It used to give you a food whenever you harvested it, right? Or, yeah. Yeah, I, it used to give you a food when you harvested the reed. And at that point, I... Eh, okay. Now, and I think it's quite a bit worse now. I was... Honestly, I was not that high on it when it gave the food when you harvested the reed. It was a very efficient card, but it was an efficient card. I felt that all the games I was playing, there was just so much reed in the game that the other players were benefiting from the Swamp Farmer's non-interactiveness with reed. Like... Um, I think there were a couple games where I was getting like 3-4 reed and it was in hands with like axe or whatever, right? Because the swamp farmer doesn't want to take them because they've got all the reed they need. The other two players are sitting on reed stone food. So it's like I get a 3 or 4 reed action. It's like, okay. And it just has that effect. Lamb breeding. Play this card, you get a sheep. Hey, this is just a free sheep straight up. You don't have to do anything for it. Um, I guess I'm building a room. Yeah. I guess I'm building a room. Now, I'm going to be pretty sad if family growth comes out next round. But I guess I just build in that case, eh? Or I just grow in that case. And try to build again later for Pedagogue, maybe. Awk Withdrawal. Yeah, I know, Rylocren. You're, you're correct. You're correct to have Awk Withdrawal. But to be fair, with a card like Berry Farmer, it's going to be correct to take wood like a huge percentage of the time. Um, so, I think... Yeah, these guys are spamming Ox pretty aggressively. I'm wondering if I have to play Pedagogue first move. The thing is, if I don't play Pedagogue, then I can maybe bait PT into doing some like bad start player actions or suboptimal start player actions. Yeah, Mountain Farmer does really reward me for staying at two. I agree. There's two four wood actions, so I think it's not really much of a risk for me to play pedagogue here. Because I'm, I'm pretty likely to get one of those back. Or the three wood. I'll get four wood, four wood, or three ba wood back. You think Montu's given up on uh, growing? It was to be. It was a four read. To be fair, it was a four read action that required a so bake action, and that was usually my issue with it. That I didn't like that so bake action. I, I at least I personally had a really hard time finding time for it. I, I liked it better when you were going to use the so action anyways. I do not want to take four wood. Why don't I want to take four wood, Dumba? You got a problem with me taking wood? Barry won't get food. Uh, that's true. So three wood is fine. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Barry Farmer doesn't trigger on four wood. That's a good point. Uh, I mean, I have a good amount of food coming in. But yes, probably I would I would give up one wood to get two food. You're, you're right about that. Yeah. So let Montu taking it. <laughs> well, if I throw shade to Montu... But so Walfi said, "Haha!" When I played Pedagogue, and Monty said, "I'm sad. Pa I was sad passing it." And Walfi says, "I can't imagine passing it." <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Walfi with the shade. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Oh man, Wallfly 100% has given up on Red Schoolhouse. That's sad. Yes, last is G8 collection. The power level is much higher. I agree. And that's been my impression as well. 
And I did, su I, Wallfly suggested G8, and I did say, hey, I like playing N Walls and Domba's collections. And Wallfly was like, oh, last is, let's play Lass's collection. And I was like, ah, whatever. I didn't want to argue. I wanted to play. Luma did pass Educator the other day. Yep. You're right about that. I wish Champion Harvester didn't have this picture. I wish it had the, um, the you know the meme where it's like the, the honest work meme? The, it's not much, but it's honest work guy. I wish Champion Harvester, like it, it's so similar. Because he's got the coveralls and everything, and it's like a human instead of a cartoon. I feel like we need more more meme pictures on the uh, for Agricola cards. I bet people would like to playtest more in that case. Also, I'm just going to say this is Lumen now. I'm going to say Snapper is like a Lumen alt account. And that this is a picture of Lumen at like a country fair or something. And you can't convince me otherwise. Uh, Ock. Um... Yeah, actually, we should pause because uh, PT might change your mind. Um, no, I, uh, man, Mountain Farmer. Do I give up on Mountain Farmer here? I'm going to play Mountain Farmer here. I'm going to go... I need to get a couple crops out of Mountain Farmer. What did he play? He played Country Carpenter. Yeah, so this lets PT build grow this round rather than playing uh, Country Carpenter. Loving Blackjack Davies pictures? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Auk is in action. Auk is a full action for me with Pedagog. So the only reason I would grow here is because I think I'm going to build another room and then I can use Pedagog then. But I'm, I mean, I would be using Pedagog to not play Mountain Farmer. So I'm just going to play Mountain Farmer here. Also, I'm kind of giving some meta information by saying it will change PT's move because I'm kind of indicating that I don't want to first move family growth. Maybe not family growth at all. Yeah, PT says he's going to room. Yeah. It's more interesting this way. It, it, you know, I think it's not wrong, Sid. I, I, I'm on board. I'm, I'm definitely on board the... Like the thing is, mountain farm, mountain, uh, mountain farmer is gonna be like a full action for me, and pedagog is, well, no, mountain farmer is not a full action; it's like a half action maybe. Mountain farmer is gonna be like a half action, and then pedagog's a full action. So I'm delaying family growth by getting an action and a half back. So I think that looks fine. Plow then wood. Also, there's five wood. No one took that four wood, eh? That's funny. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna first move plow. That's for sure. Then we probably play Farmer at the start of round seven. Yeah, play Farmer at the start of round seven. Window. Okay, so, so far, only two symbols for PT, but PT prob like, it's probably not worth competing with PT, I I'm guessing, for that, uh, that setup. Uh, field should go against my house, and I will get a grain. Two family members, when do you plow at least one field? So Domba, a comment, 
they should probably refer to the plow one field space at the moment it combos with trailblazer which just seems like totally broken to me that would be my comment my room is in a bad spot is there a meaningful difference between my room being there and my room being the bottom the bottom Having only two family members is a big deal. Um, yeah, but it's like it's Field Watchman right now. It's Field Watchman, but more more flexible. Yeah, Royal Medal. So this was that seventh pick Royal Medal because I saw this card third, I think. So that's a seventh pick Royal Medal for PT. Uh, that's a pretty good card to have picked up then. Take the three wood because we're gonna want to get to fencing after we do our other stuff generally you want oh planter box oh of course i forgot about planter box you're right you're right for four rooms the square is better but i don't think i'm playing a fourth room not with uh not with carpet i don't think i'm playing a fourth room not with carpet and with uh, royal metal out. I like Chief's Daughter. I like games with Chief's Daughter. I feel like the major improvements are f the major improvements are like a fun way to interact with your opponents because it's like you're directly taking. You know, you're directly taking stuff away from them. Plow and fence? Yeah, I think so. Play Auk Farmer. Don't need more than three fields with pr Planter. Oh, I was thinking of Elder's Daughter, which is Chief's Daughter. Which one is that? Is that people in stone houses or something? Three points for a stone house. Oh, chief's daughter. Oh. Why am I thinking like it's complicated? Yeah, you're right. I see. I see. Yeah, I think fencing is a reasonable option. It lets the sheep breed. And, uh, yeah. And then I maybe grow in round eight. Grow first, move round eight. If I'm plowing six fields, building in the middle is better. You're right about that, Great. Do you think I'm going to plow six fields, though? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to plow six fields. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Wallfly, Star Player, Cash Crop. Yeah, I think I'm just going to fence here and then grow next round. I think two grain is enough from Mountain Farmer. And then I can play my last two Ox with uh, Hunt School. Wake up and smell the base game. <laughs> uh. Fancy big twice with mountain. Um, you think so? I think I'm gonna grow round eight. I think that's my plan. I think what I do is I fence seven. I'm gonna fence seven next round. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going to fence this round. I'm going to fence seven right now. 
And then I can cover, I can fence covering eight spaces, only do four fields. I feel like I've got, like I'm fine. Buy a pair of sheep here and get a boar from farmer. And then I feed four and breed a sheep. I have wood already out. I've already played machete. Uh, fence seven lets me hold the boar for hunt school without having to fence again. So the only question now is, well, actually, it's not a question. I'm going to play Champion Harvester because Champion Harvester plus Machete means I get bonus points every round, every harvest. Yeah, like I won't. I'll play the other rocks like in round twelve or whatever. They, yeah, it's not a big, not a big difference. Yeah. Because Quarry Operator, yes. Quarry Operator not going to be activated again for a while. Although, to be fair, PT just took one stone. So if I play Quarry Operator that does attack that... Quarry operator wheels. <laughs> I think I'm ready to grow. I don't need any more grain. The only other thing I would seriously consider do is fencing again, but I don't have any wood, so I'm going to grow here. Play planter box. So two fields. I am a little hungry. Yep. But I'm going to harvest uh, four grain, which I can eat all of them raw. If I have to. I'm not planning to, but if I have to, I can. Yeah, I don't have cash crop. PT plays Basket Makers Workshop. PT's having a very good game. Very good game. He's already he's basically already got his four wood oc one. Take a veg. Um I mean, yeah, I'd like the six clay better because it lets me do stuff like clay o clay oven. Uh, but yeah, vegetable to sow, vegetable and grain. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, for Montu. Let's see Wells in chat. Six clay wield. Pain's here. Hi, Pain. Uh, 
Uh, so if I sow the vegetable, then I get more points, right, Damba? Because the uh, the champion harvester re rewards me for harvesting two different types of grain or two different types of um, of uh, goods. On to plays guild farmer. Convert building resource to food. Yeah. So we had a conversation about this the other day. I'm pretty sure Clothier satisfies Guild Farmer because yes, you're converting a sheep and a reed, but you're still converting a resource, building resource to food. So I'm pretty sure Guild Farmer is satisfied by Clothier. Yeah, I think I think it's fine. I mean, it's not like. I, it's not like there's any great debate. I'm just saying there was a discussion. That's all. Doesn't say only building resources. Yes. Yeah. I think some people might argue you don't convert directly. That's all. Not getting the cow is a bummer. Yeah, especially in a constable, pseudo constable game. Voice annou announcement feature. So. I record the name of every single card, and then when the card comes up on the side here, it says, Someone played Guild Farmer. Someone played Farmer. Someone played Champion Harvester. So this round, I do want to take wood, but getting vegetable and sowing seems pretty good. So then I need to get food. I think I don't want to have to eat all my grain if I don't have to. I could eat, I could harvest four grain and eat all four of them raw, but probably it's going to be better if I build the cooking hearth, or not build the cooking hearth, build the clay oven. So if I do something like clay oven vegetable sow, I think that's a, probably a good round. Yeah, I th Montu, yeah, Montu building another room makes sense. Ooh, Tapestry Weaver. Yeah, Montu will definitely try to build another room if he can with Tapestry Weaver. Oh, the reed's on the bottom, of course. Yeah, it gets a little late. Wallfly plays Little Red Schoolhouse. Yeah. I almost want to do a PSA, like, this card is stupid good. I know I passed it, but I only passed it because I had another card that lets me play Ox for one food each. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wallfly more shade. Can't believe this was my fourth pick. <laughs> I would never pass that. <laughs> Wallfly shade is great. I love it. I am here for it. Oh. 
Activating it five times is quite hard. And you know what? To be fair, the cattle, getting a cattle in round 14, it sh it's two points. But the, the part, the thing that's happening now is a two point cattle. And if you're getting a two point cattle in round 14, you probably don't have a winning farm. Because it's very difficult to have a winning farm without having like a good amount of animal points. And cattle can be one of the best ways of getting animal points. Montu blocks vegetable. That's a shame. Uh, I'm going to grab three wood here, but yeah, I'll grab three wood. Whoops, that is not my food. That's someone else's food. I'll still last action, so actually, you know what? Maybe it's correct now to start player speed field rather than so bake. Speed field doesn't trigger champion harvester. But it does get me start player since I'm sitting last. No, never mind. PT start playing. Unless he's renovating. No, he's start playing. Printing press. Printing press seems not great. Seems expensive. So I used to, like, it, when I started playing on the site in, like, 2009, I swear, because uh, we, we were playing EIK, at the time we were playing EIKG, all right? So, um, Headmaster was in, like, I don't know, 40% of games or whatever, and every time Waffle, I would be like, <laughs> the Headmaster is playing a Headmaster every time. <laughs> You like it? Hmm. So it's it's four stone and a wood. In its best case scenario, it's four wood and a stone for four points. Hmm. It's okay. I don't like the fact that you have to pay like the fact that you have to pay the wood when you when you play the arc can kind of be tough. I don't know. I mean, it's better if you have stuff like. Um, Clockwork Man, whatever. It, that's definitely a card that benefits a lot from Clockwork Man. Plus J champ feed six breed the sheep. Ooh, Wallfly's got steel plow. Yeah, mineral seller does seem quite good, although she has missed out on a couple chances to proc it. Oh, excuse me. But uh, hey, that's fun. Steel plow is gonna let her play out her entire hand because she's gonna go up to seven fields. That's fun. Wallfly goes back to 09. Um, she had another account that she played under at that time. Country Carpenter. So yeah, he's playing it now. PT is. So PT is going to build some more rooms. So I probably take, at this point, one, two, three, so I need eight wood. So I need eight wood, so that's going to be two wood action. So the difference between four wood and three wood is pretty meaningless. So I'm actually going to take the three wood ahead of four wood, because this one gives me an extra two food. And then I think we're going to do the vegetable sow this round. Unless I want to take two reed, because it would be nice to get, mm, it would be nice to get ready for Reno, but probably veg, probably getting just doing that is fine. Veg and so I think so. 
Open with carpet. Um, I was kind of thinking carpet round 12. Star player carpet round 12. Because uh, carpet round 11 is um, not always good. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to dox anyone here, Dom, but I guess I shouldn't have said anything. Plow not a pretty high priority. Plow is a very high priority. Yes, I think I'm going to first action plow next round. Yeah, because I don't want to carpet until round 12, probably. No, I agree. I agree vegetable so is the sequence here. I agree that that's the sequence for sure. I can also build stables if I don't get that last field, that fourth field. Building stables will be totally fine because there's a decent amount of wood in the game. And I've already, like, I only need, I need a, uh, if I get a four wood action, like, that's a stable there, so. Carpet out in 11 because I don't have space for the animals. That's true, but I'm probably going to have to throw away some sheep anyways. Wallfly played veggie vendor? No, she played veggie importer. <laughs> Not stupid. <laughs> uh. Oh, I see. You're saying he has to he he can't trigger it with Clothier and then use it for Clothier, obviously. That's what you're saying, Gray. Yeah, that makes sense. Mrs. Braggart. Start of each round, seven printed points on your improvement. improvements. Pay one food to receive a guest. Nice! That's a family growth action. That looks quite strong. I mean, building the well is already really good. Alright, two grain here, one vegetable here. Baking one. Just think, which which one looks like Lumen? This is this is what we're gonna propagate now. I, I wish for this to be a thing that is cre that is created. The veggie importer is Lumen. Snapper is a Lumen alt account. Yeah, and like miners with printed points on them, like free miners with printed points are already good. Yeah. <laughs> Sid, we're trying to be balanced with our discussion of the current format. So, yeah, I'm trying not to go to him. We're playing the cards that are currently dealt. It's like, uh, so I, I used to, I, I ref hockey, and it's like when players would complain to me about the way the rules are, and it's like, guys, I don't have any, I can't do anything about the rules. The rules are the rules as they are. I can only call them, like, you can complain about my call in the moment, but you can't complain to me about the rule being the way the rule is. Like, come on. I think the problem is the cards usually end up being... It usually... They usually, like... I feel like the metric is what I want to play this 100% of the time. And if it doesn't meet that bar, then it's not good enough. And I, I, I don't like that. I'm, I'm actually enjoying challenging myself more to do well with fewer occupations. And honestly, it probably, it most of the time probably serves me well. Because I get family growth more often. First family growth more often. Which, there is a risk associated where, there, but... What to do? Well, certainly plow first move. Uh, three wood if it comes back. Three wood and maybe last action fence. It's just more fun. So part of the variety is of this game is um, playing playing out your like 
playing the ox. And what I what what I will say is, if you play your best two out of seven cards in every game, then you're gonna play the same percentage of cards way more often than if you play the best five out of seven. <laughs> Forester. Where's the shocked Pikachu face? Forester. Excuse me. So we're hoping to wheel the three wood. Also, nice, nice, uh, I like that the guest token is the lover, but why does he have two? I think I'm missing something. Does friend? Friend gives a guest. Okay. I didn't look at that card at all. Um, okay. I can't fence anymore. So three reeds so that I can reno, I guess. Uh, unless I want to read stone food. Start player is available. And if plot, family growth is round 12, or if plus is round 12, then I like start, I like family growth a lot. Or, or I like start player a lot. But I'm not probably going to eat the sheep. I think I'm just... Mm, yeah, maybe it does let me use my sheep efficiently. If I take three read, I have the, do have the chance to double build. Or double... Uh, double build. Double reno. But stone ovens available. I guess I'll start player first. This way I do get to six sheep, uh, assuming I can hold all of them. Joe or boot. <laughs> What does friend do? It gives a guest token. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like we should try to avoid direct... Like, this is just strictly better than the guest passing miner. Right? Because it's got a point on it and it's cheap. Okay, I guess it 3 oc prereq, so it's not strictly better. Ah. Uh, Okay, never mind. My argument is invalid. It's not strictly better. Yeah, I need three read or three bore, and I don't have capacity for the bore yet. Um, yeah, like Reedstone food is not exciting. It lets me build the joinery, but. Probably just double, trying to double reno makes sense. Everyone's on small houses, so I don't think anyone will appreciate reno that much. Eat six. So I harvest all the vegetable with machete. I harvest one grain. I get two points. Champion harvester. Re-up start player if it's growth. Yeah, I'm not going to first move grow for sure. I'll probably plow or three wood. Definitely machete grain. Really? What if I only sow one more time? I think I'm only going to sow one more time. Right. That's why I'm shutting it here. I think I think there's not really a meaningful difference.
Clauso comes. So you think so? Okay, so you're saying there's a chance I might not bake another grain. So therefore, having more crops to eat raw in total. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's possible. I guess I'm looking at speed field, and um, and just thinking that there's like basically no chance that I don't get another bake action. Because I think, like if, if family growth flips here, I'm just going to first move plow, right? I did say I was thinking about three wood, but you know, there's going to be two two wood actions. So plow first move to, and then if I have to second move two wood, I have to second move two wood. Yeah. So I think plow first move next round is going to be my move. Now if it's plow so great, but uh, I think it's probably just going to be plow, right? Yes, I do only need two more wood. So I think I'm probably just going to take two more wood. Probably my sequence is second action, two wood, and then third move, um, third move fence. If growth comes, my third move is growth. Yes. If Plowso comes, I'm doing something like Plowso to wood fence. Do, 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 do. Family growth. You're welcome, Wallfly. Happy birthday. Ah, grain expert. So this gets her one grain at this point, right? Because she played it at the start of the round. Breed sheep. Thank you. Good catch. It was it actually his birthday today? Yeah, I do think it could be simpler, but I'm not really sure how. I haven't thought about it. it, it there is a lot of text on it. I most wish we could just introduce X notation, where if you say, you could say, so then the, you could make it a lot simpler. You can say, Pay X wood, place X wood and X grain on each of the, you know, on ne each of the next spaces. The last spaces should be space. <laughs> yeah, I think we're looking for more than like a one letter cutoff <laughs> for meaningful changes. Changes the changes it. Does it? Pay X wood on the next um, odd numbered round spaces. Place X wood from your supply in the next odd numbered round spaces. Um, then place X grain from the general supply on the next even numbered round spaces. Maybe that's still too much. Maybe that doesn't sig simplify it that much. I feel like there's a way to do it. The space instead of spaces. Oh, I see what you're saying. 
You played in round five. Uh, does it say it has to follow? Family growth. The next. So it says next odd, next even. Yeah, I guess the grain comes before the wood in that case. I should comment. Oh, what, I'm on to start player? I don't, this face is kind of, I don't like that I can only see this per, one of these eyes. I, I don't like that I can only see the one eye because it makes the other eye like hidden. It reminds me of that really, there's one really creepy image in Be the original Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Um, where Belle goes into the, the, the West Wing where the rose is and then she sees the painting through the thing. And that's, that creeped me out. I love the movie, but as a kid that creeped me out every time. It was really, like, I don't know why. Just the, the, the eye looking through the, um, the, the slashes in, like, the canvas or whatever was really creepy. Oh, I always comment when Star Player goes against me. That's true. You're right. But that's just me being salty. That's just me being real salt, really salty. I would, I would be unhappy if Wallfly did start player. I guess so, but I'm, I in this game I would only be unhappy if I don't get a fence action next round. If I don't get fence and so bake next round, I guess that's the only way I would be unhappy. And you know what? I don't, I don't almost don't even need so bake next round. I'm obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. It, it was my favorite movie for a long time. I like all the dis I like all the Disney uh, old Disney movies, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. Those are like the first two VHSs we ever had, so I watched them many times. And then my younger brother watched them many times too. Um, I feel like the cap, the food cap on Mineral Cellar is just kind of silly. Like, it's, a, it's a, I feel like it's an acknowledgement that this card is busted. Like, someone was like, this card is busted because it had, it gave unlimited food. And then last was like, okay, it's busted. I'll make the cap seven food. <laughs> it's just such a, it's just a funny, because there aren't many other cards that have that kind of cap. At least not obviously like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't really think so. Um, cause that, that's talking about round spaces, right? Not talking about triggers. That's like forest farmer, but forest farmer triggers on your own actions. Like there aren't really that many cards that trigger on other players actions that have like a really obvious cap like that. Fence first act? Yeah. Yeah, definitely fence first act. Because uh, not fencing is the only way that I don't win the constable points. So bake it gets me points, but it doesn't really look like anybody else wants to so bake right now. Montu, maybe. But uh, PT's got no crops. Actually, PT's got no crops, and he played Royal Metal. How's PT getting crops? What am I missing?
He's going to take grain to trigger Royal Artist, maybe. Montu might re-up start player. I would not say no to that. Wallfly Trailblazer. Um, yeah, I think Monty's probably looking at the fact that Wallfly is the only person who really cares about family growth even without room. Because I get it unblockably, and uh, PT is going to grow with regular family growth. <laughs> Eddie's at four actions, exactly. It's Monty, though. <laughs> Is Montu family growth even without room hoarder? Does he like that space a lot? I mean, it's a good space. He would wheel plow because Wallfly is not going to plow, but she would probably family growth, right? Um, okay, I kind of like a stone action here, but I guess I'll just take the boar. I guess I could start player. I don't really, no, I should so bake, I guess. I should so bake before I do something really silly. Oh, Monty just plus sewed. I didn't need to sew bake. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Wildfly has no crops in her supply. PT has no reed that he can sew. I guess he could sew on Forester if there is a spot. No, he couldn't. Sew bake was not needed. That was bad. Hopefully we get the boar back. Otherwise, I'll take stone and then reno. I guess I have to reno first because the stone is not good if I don't also get both reno in round 13 and 14. Yeah, so reno and then stone. Yeah, Machete is a funny card where there are some games where you pick it up six and it doesn't do much for you. But there are some games like this where you open it with crop school and you open it with cards that depend on the number of crops you harvest. Like, um, it's Honest Work Guy. It's it, What does he say? It's simple work, but it's honest or something. Well, if I plays gate, gate actually pretty good in a constable game. It does good work with it even at, without combos. Yep, you're right. Hmm. You know what? The 18 victory point cash crop, though, it takes work. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because it might might have gotten me. It might get me two stone, especially with Ido. Although Ido just came out, so I could maybe try to Reno Stone Oven maybe with Ido on the table. Although Montu, no, well he can't Reno and Stone Oven. 
the boar wheel. That's weird. Um, yeah, I mean, the boar is good, but I kind of like getting stone oven here with Ido out. Wait, do I get clay? No, I only get stone. Oh, sorry, I don't get a mix. Never mind. Okay. I'll take the boar and then last move Reno, I guess. Or maybe I should Reno here because, yeah, I guess there are a bunch of players that want to Reno still. So I'll just Reno. And I can play Wild Wish, I guess. Picture from Ido could be from TV series Roots. Is that the one with LeVar Burton? Yeah, I could take the boar instead of growing. Yep. Because I am running out of actions. The only thing that's a question is whether I get to Stone House or not. Kunta Kinte, right? I've never seen it, but he makes references to it on his Twitter and um, obviously in the community episode. I mean, it's one point. Yeah, I kind of need one point action, though, don't I? I'm running out of stuff to do. Is PT going to try to reno and is Wallfly going to try to reno? Uh, want Montu can build the build a he can build a clay room, and then build this. He could build the stone oven and build the clay room. I kind of like that for Montu. Two sheep is better as a one point action, because they're denying someone else getting sheep. Or what? Or what? Am I? Mis I think I'm missing something. It gives me the option of taking Wild Wish next round. I'm not really sure. Roots from the 70s. Kunta Kinte, yeah. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. It gives me the option to then go back and take Cattle or Boar next round. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Because if I take the Boar, then I can't take Cattle next round. Yeah, I feel like we're looking for margins that we don't really need to, guys. Um, I think this game is fairly won, uh, cause we're gonna have a seven point champ, like, har uh, farmer guy, and, uh, yeah, I feel like we're, I guess, I guess one of the reasons I'm not seriously looking at those is I do think this game is over. I don't see how PT gets the constable points. Uh, PT needs two actions to get to Reno. He gets them pretty, he does get it reasonably easy though. He do, just has to take one clay. So sure, I'll take the two sheep. Feed eight. And then we're gonna machete here and harvest those guys. Get two points. Read the sheep. Uh, she would have had the first pick prize squash and we didn't pass it. And I don't think we passed Steel Plow. So I think our first pick was Steel Plow. Uh, G6 is not in this set at all. But Price Squash is a G4-5 card, I believe. <laughs> yeah, what's really important here, right, Damba? Yeah, that's right. To be fair, um, 
I do, uh, yeah, I need to mix it up. That's all. I just can't talk, like, if I'm streaming every day, I can't talk about the game 100% of the time because it does drive me crazy. But you guys are absolutely right. You're, yes, you're absolutely right with everything that you said. Thank you very much. So I have 15 grain, so I can afford to eat seven of them raw. So that plus two food is my nine food. Plus I have a food on round 14, so I can afford to play one occupation if I want to, just for J's. Too bad I can't use Hunt School on Start Player to play Businessman and then play another Miner. That's an old rule. Waffle I play Stone Carrier. I guess it's getting her wood, eh? For her uh, Fencing Master. I was thinking, why is she just playing Ox for Ox sake? But no, it's she's getting wood while doing so. She's a little bit playing Ox for Ox sake. Just a little bit. There is a lot of reno pressure, yeah. Yeah. Wallfly has gate though, so she can reno fence even if it's occupied. So in fact, Wallfly can, you know what, Wallfly can double reno. Because it just says occupied, not occupied by other players. So she can double reno with reno fe on reno fence. She's got gate, so she can block the she can cover those automatically with her fencing master. Uh take a boar here. Let's take the three little pigs and take an extra pig which runs all the way home. I didn't grow, no. I'll grow at the end of this round. I'm gonna run out of stuff to do, so it saves me food. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, and you know what? It bears remembering, Sid, that that is something that, when we, we experienced that with G, G7, G8, and I experienced that with J4 and with like all the AG2 cards. But it's worth remembering that new players not only have to remember all the EIK cards, but they also have to remember all the cost of the major improvements and all the action spaces and everything. So three wood stables to let me breed the boar. Yep. Hunt school is one point. What did I do instead? I took the sheep. Instead of family growth. Yep. In the long, long ago. <laughs> In the before times. I feel like Montu left himself open. Seems like Wallfly is thinking about Reno Fence here. Also, Montu's field's in a weird spot. You can't build a clay room anymore. 
I guess he didn't want to, but yeah, not with pottery in hand. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I guess Crop Farmer got her a resource. What did she get from her plow sow action? Did she need it? She took a wood. Yeah, she did not need a wood. Uh, she's going to build the fireplace here. I guess she's afraid that Reedstone food might get blocked. I guess. So she doesn't want to spend her... Doesn't want to be forced to only get Reedstone food. The problem with that is she still has two moves here. So she could take stone and take one reed if she had to. So pretty sure Montu is going to fence and might even take wood before he fences. So I think uh, the stables action is fine. I think Montu hasn't was supposed to take his vegetable last harvest, but he didn't. So, my comments on the G8 cards that I've played, uh, or that I've drafted. Um, I think Berry Farmer is not strictly better Berry Picker, but it's enough better that I think probably just shouldn't exist. Uh, taking wood is taking wood is usually the best thing you can be doing. Getting a, an extra food, food, extra food to al already do the stuff that you want to be doing anyways I think is yeah I mean berry farmer its power level is probably fine I just don't like the creep it's just such power creep compared to berry farmer or to berry picker no berry picker is not strong and the cards probably fine but I guess I just don't like totally power creeping out existing cards uh, does wallfly yeah she can't family grow so I don't care about anyone else doing anything Last move, family growth. I don't know. I think Barry, I think Barry Farmer will end up being quite strong, because it can be, you know, you play it in round one. The fact, like, how much food was it in the first two stages? It was like seven, eight food. Reno Stone Oven first move. Yeah, what did her so get her? It got her a wood, which she doesn't really need. Got her a field, which she also does not need, because with Fencing Master, she can cover all her spaces. I'm not really sure.
Yeah, Wild Wish, Hunt School, Little... Yeah, Little Red... Yeah, I'm probably going to downvote that one. Because plowing is already like a very good, plowing is a very good thing to do. The reason we don't do it in the early game is because it doesn't really scale. But if you can play ox while plowing, like it's just ridiculous. The plow was negative points because she's uh, hurt on animal capacity here. Yeah. Unless she has to eat, unless she was gonna have to eat the boar anyways. But with all those vegetables, it's hard to imagine she would have had to eat boar. <laughs> She's got a lot of vegetables. She's got, what, six, ex five extra vegetables? Yikes. Um, yeah, Cory Operator seems fine. Stone accumulation spaces are not taken that often. Um... Yeah, Wild Wish seems quite, quite good. It's a free point with ridiculous upside. Uh, two animal actions are already very good. So whatever I score plus 12, 55. Already changed it. Oh, thanks Massive Attack. Yeah, what would be good changes? Uh, maybe two food per ox. Two food for ox would per per ox would probably be reasonable. Um, yeah, I think pedagogue is quite good, but it's probably not broken strong. I just think it's really, really good. I like it a lot. Honestly, mountain farmer seems really strong. Mountain farmer is, it's not quite a more flexible farm. Uh, um, Oh my goodness, what's the name of the card? Field Warden? No, not Field Warden. Farm, not Farm Steward. Two or three Oc Prereq, yeah. Two or three Oc Prereq. Field Watchman, thank you, Gray. It's, it's Field Watchman in the early game, which you do have to first pick, so. Did Wallfly announce her final score? She announced 50. Yeah. What did PT announce? So 50 for Wallfly. PT announces something. Um, 48 for Montu, 55. So we're just waiting on PT. PT scores 38. All right, GG guys. Um, first action plow rather than last action grain. Yep, that, that is a difference. Yep. You're right. The one food does make a big difference. Yep. I, yeah, I guess this just was a really strong game. So, like, compared to, like, Pedagog lets me do a lot of silly stuff. I mean, really, it's the Champion Harvester with the, mach like, the Planter Box Machete. Like, that, that let me, like, that's just, like, a really stupid combo. My, my crop combo was the big thing that turned everything out. That let me do, yeah. So I could make my game about setting up the crop combo, and that was the most important thing. So, yeah, Hunt School seems quite strong. Um, yeah, Hunt, like it's got a point, and it plays two ox for free. Like, yikes. 
The synergy of playing two Ox out of nowhere can be really, really scary. Uh, Mountain Farmer, yeah, this Champion Harvester, so like four, harvesting four goods is pretty tough, but the fact that this card is going to pretty reliably be four points probably makes it a little, a little strong, like it's going to be difficult for this card not to be worth four points, and when you have my stuff, it's going to be like so many. Yeah, Champion Harvester is better than Champion Breeder. Um, yeah. Yeah, because breeding three animal types is pretty difficult. Homework is like four power. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, that's going to be all for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow. Similar time as today. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys then.